Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, living and amazing, spectacular, wondrous propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, hero of psych defender of the fatherland, your lord and master of Hitawami One on glorious crossroads in the north of the Zodiac, finding for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Rolling out here with the Hammond Going Falschirm Panzer Division with German infantry featuring the 250 1 half track. Veteran school leaders, stormtroopers, assault and hold, and fragmentation bomb with triple infantry versus south it is Sormapler. Fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin. Rolling out here with the glorious 6th Guards tank called with Guard Motor featuring T 3045s, heavy mortars, Guards Rav infantry, vehicle repair training, and marked vehicle with Guards. Infantry and anti tank grenade bulletins here. We got a gun at MD4 to stop for Zodiac. Sandbags on the car pond versus doubling gears into double comfort there for Soma Player. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, these champions, these heroes of the propaganda cast who keep me in the business and effectively sponsor the show to degrees. Anyways, big thanks to all of those. You two can go on the ranks for Patreon, Patreon yourself. Or you could also just donate. Links are in the channel description. I'll let you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, and prevent the YouTube algorithms from tearing my head off. Of North here, Park Gunnings approaching to the same type. We all can see there. Sawmuff has got a conscript ring in looking to disrupt his Zodiac's early game before an infantry squad. This could be a bit of a bastard to deal with. Thumbs up there to the Soviets. Samax down the carve point. Grab these important engineers. We've got more infantry in this depth. Oh, engineers have moving to support here. So definitely looking to disrupt here. Zodiac's early game. Constant heavy cover here makes it hard for the Gunnings to grab it without any support here. So. Definitely a bit awkward there, which is exactly how Sawmapler likes it, clearly. MD42 moving in though, could try and, you know, put some pressure on it there. Second has got ready for Zodiac. Pioneers remaining the car point, third contract port there for Sawmapler and the Dead Army. MD42 moving in. Bit of quiet there, not much else going on, Gunnies heading east was there. Shots fired here, so then you start closing the car point, moving in. I think what he's trying to do is going to basically flank the contras there by getting around here and sort of hit them from the rear. Good plan there by Zodiac. That's it again, he's losing the fuel. Like, Playing out the engineers first. Third contra court, they're ready for Soma Plep. Getting another gun, he's got a magnet here for Zodiac. So now, for me, he's gone for German infantry, so at least he's going to get a bunch of them. I love to see what else he does. Pioneer's rather going to the contra close. That's it. Now the Gunnies on their own. MD42 though is able to grab the fuel points, I guess. That's that. But the Gunnies will fall back. Third squad away the Zodiac. Can also soon tech up. But due to, again, the early disruption, he can't take up as fast as he would like to, actually. So that's a small edge there for Soma. Plur. Small. And now Gun before catching the contra there. Suppressing them and forcing a retreat here. Meanwhile, the squad going for the car point there. And another squad's going to go deep and probably hit the main cut off point there. Third Gunnies got ready. Gunnies move to the center here. And occupy the building, getting surrounded here by Sormapless Throntovix. Furious and Socialist. They're going to tear those Gunnies apart if they can get away with it. Machine gun repositioning here. Bart wire there on the sandbags there. Back here reinforcing. Can take up now. Well, of course, if he does do that, he's going to go for a fourth Gunnies report first. Would be uncommon that some players go for four Gunnies with German infantry. Would not be uncommon. Any saying to the constables there? Bit of murdering, bit of shooting. Gunnies with the Gunnies. And before turning up there. Good push there by Zodiac. Pani is there on the way with mine troops in case Soma Plus is going down early mines. I don't think they have, but even then, obviously, it's very good to do it and then ready anyways. And you squat that cloak and rubbed out to you by the Gunnies. Early flame throws there. Grand more points here. Getting, getting the MD4 too aggressively. Thumbs up to Zodiac. He is also starting to take up now. Good. Might go for another Gunnies squat then first. They could also go for some Stormtroopers here, which I think would be quite good for the conscript. Well, of course, Panzer gonna be there, but typically a lot of players just go for a lot of Gunners for key for the, or the veteran Scorpions, then ignore the Panzer Gunners and Stormtroopers, despite those also being quite good. Got the Western Port here with MG42 now. Might want to move that towards the center here. Could also bring up another MG42. There's obviously several options here for Zodiac to consider, paths to take. So far, those man to get a good chunk of the map here against Soma Plip. Getting some solid map control. Laying down some mines here and there could also be consideration, but he's likely, of course, going to set up the uh, veteran gun these first here and get them upgraded before doing anything like that. God's been flanked here so far. The Zodiac's leading the charge here against the Soviets. Machine also being hauled towards the center. Very good, though. There we go. Punch in the for Zodiac. Two thumbs up. He hasn't forgotten about them. Some players do. Some players, unfortunately, do need to see the gun these court, though. 
Gonna be tough here getting into Michigan up there without getting rushed for the show. He's got coming up here. Gonna be a deep push here. Pants was almost done here for Zodiac. Machine retreats, unfortunately, for Zodiac. Of course, great here for Somapla. Puns are going to do the effects. Right, Samex on the car front here. Devious Charge is going to sneak up, go for the Zodiac car front to return the favor. More Samex here. Puns going to move forward. Car front will be here. Banker up there for Zodiac. Can soon begin up A2 to the better score leaders. And there you go. Conflict being caught on the wrong side of the cover. And there you go. Forced to retreat here by the Puns are going to be there. Car front hit there as well. Mine's down there. Good spot. By the same time, seeing its own resource being cut off. There's a lot of harassment, a lot of coughs, a lot of maneuvering there. Machine is sitting out there. Can also begin upgrading over the veteran school leaders here for Zodiac. Could also go for like to make an us company for some like vehicles. Even if it's like a 250 dash run half check here versus Soma, but like a lot of infantry. Add in some pants, and this is Storm Strike. There's a lot of damage here to Storm Up. We're currently in this state here, not be ready to repulse such an attack. We've got Guards Rob scored out, and we're running over there. Losing the Western Fuel Pump, we got the Punch and Skill. What? Oh, gonna deal with the. Like, what is he gonna do there? Hard to say. Troops reinforced, they're good to go. I do believe we are seeing, yes, some Western Squad is there for Zodiac. Yeah, lots of back and forth action. But note here how uh, Storm Up just went for all of the car points. Which in part allows them to connect the base with Eastern Sight despite having lost the main one here. So that's a bit of an interesting move, but also just disrupts Zodiac's resource flow there. So good play there for Soma. They're looking to like any play to like even just gain like a slight edge there against his fascist opponent. Thumbs up. Puny River, they like to make a nice company there for Zodiac. Got a man goes off in the gun of ears, killing two men. Gun is one up the center. Advancing forwards for Deutschland. Panzers with the engineers. Back here reinforcing. Mortar on the Vasodiak. Certainly could be a good idea. There's all the troops here. Could be a very good idea. There's certainly put some pressure there on Soma Blip. Now they need for the Bolton option. And again, like I feel like a 250 and a half check or just a 250 dash run a half check could also both be rather solid choices for varying reasons. So quite a few choices there. And again, the Mortar I don't think is a bad one. Needs to deal with the gun of the ears, or vice versa, perhaps. He is routed, gun of the could do with some reinforcement, being hauled back. Well, again, if he had a half check, he could reinforce on the front line. Well, the 251, the 250 dash one, but of course, needs veteran to one before he can get to that. Funny is routed, and more to Johnny in here, the Granatenwerfer, Fiat und Breitzig. Initially, a heavy mortar in the German war, they as the war started, they eventually considered just a medium mortar as the 120 mm mortar, which they basically just ripped off the Soviets, by the way, started to took the rail over the, uh, took over the role there of heavy mortar in the German army. Little fun fact there. Michigan holding back here. Can't get routed. Reinforcing healing. Sometimes we can take up. Even we got no take up for Soma, plus certainly all's been a bit delayed there, but there you go. Tank with 10 commander can push for the T70. So it's gonna need a Pack 40 here, in part because they don't have munitions for Panzer Shrek, so he will need the Pack 40 or a bunch of armored cars to have a chance against that. Seriously, and if the conscripts here, true engineers by the flame force, meaning he's actually quite vulnerable to a possible telemine or S mines from Zodiac. That could be something Corson can invest in. So you got the Pack 40 then for Zodiac, the Panzer Abwehr Kanone 40. When he's holding up the west for the MU 32. He's probably starting to be a bit more apprehensive of the possible T70, which is why it's not playing that enemy forward to as aggressively, though I don't think he's be leaning on the far left flank as that then either, since it still means the T70 could do some nasty work there. Could push a bit up here to the east side. Going for the car point, he's attempting to, but uh, a bit wary about what might be hiding. Pack 40 almost down in there, go T some light tank there on the way for some up there and there that army. And he's about to clash, but the conscript of the West MV42 being with the conscripts. Sikobiat Petrov, you didn't say there was a machine gun here. Well, check me, I said there may not be a machine gun there. Oh, shut up with you and your semantics. More too close there to landing here, but not quite. Gun is routed. In progress on the east side. Punish them up and grab the fuel pump, perhaps. They've got a gas behind high there. Equipped with the DP lock -like machine guns. Two thumbs up. Could begin taking up now, push for some faster armor here versus Soma Plummet and Army. And there you go, T70 light tank out there. Plans are going to give us the conscript, the Sturmgeier 44 versus the front of it for the most Nagant and the center of the in years. 13 kills there, but need two pack 40 ready as well there. 
Die Panzerabwehrkanone Kanone 40. Panzer being forward, for into the T-70. Pioneer is being pushed back by the Guardsman. Bad Kitch reinforcing healing. We do get tech there for Zodiac. Pack 40 ready, and we got more engineers here for Sommerple. I'm guessing that one's going to be for the Minesweepers. Plus, allows us to grab, you know, more territory here from the Germans in Cordwain as well there, to cover up that. Tech halfway done. And there you go, comes probably by the center victory point. We got 458 versus 457. Pretty close there. Pioneer's holding back. Some of the back turning a slight edge of map control over Zodiac. Really good map control so far by the server player. Compared to the Vermont player, we've done a lot of damage. Hasn't been quite as effective at controlling the map, though again, that's kind of meant to like, you know, be the dynamic in the server Vermont matchup. You know, the infantry is a bit more mobile, they can sort of get out more infantry faster so that we control the field of the Vermont is then supposed to like, use their light vehicles to turn that around a bit and you know get up for armor. But in this regard, Zodiac hasn't gone for the light vehicles. And so that way, he isn't quite as able to contain Storm Upler here. But there's some consolation. Then we get the Pack 40 with the Gunnery Squad there. West side here, Gunnery's being overwhelmed. More to doing what he can here. Might want to remember to use the Barrage ability. Need to defend the Western Fuel Point. Tech done. A lot of action. We got the SIS 3 Divisional Field Gun there for Storm Upler. Sam X on the Western Fuel Point. Good work. Of course, could get flanked from the south, which is exactly what Zodiac could be doing. Field gun there, halfway done. Push up here. Can't be left to win the use conscript. Got the Gabal de Lava in there. Strengthening the use conscript. There we go. Bit of a kill, but also some damage. Leaving the third infantry here. Quite the kid in the veteran who's meant to finish mopping up the socialists. In the west, going to try on the contract. The T-Sim rushing in here. Pack 40 is setting up here. Shoots and heads some structure instead, killing Paul Squirrely the Squirrel. We just escaped from Leningrad. Seeking fresher pastures, only to get hit by a pack 40 round straight for the dome. Contragram, the western point, they're digging in. Note by the way, setting up, that makes it hard for him to get flanked. Of course, he's a bit more long to attack from the north. Gives him a plan to the T70, perhaps. Nope, doesn't get it off. So, Palmer caught on the way there. Very good. No further tech there for Soma, playing that army as of yet. Pack 40 in the move again. So yeah, good disruptive play there again by Storm Upper consistently can make it much harder here for Zodiac to enjoy any like sufficient fuel income. Which makes it easy of course for Storm Up to ensure that he doesn't get to the armor fastballs like doesn't snowball out control again allows him to like, you know, get the chance to snowball tanks out there. Bang grenade in the guardsman. Good hit there, almost taking out the entire unit. Troops have been routed as well there. Could rush out Osmond here or Ishtug. I think both of those could be considered good options. Those probably going to go for the Panther 4. But I think a fast Osmond here would have some benefits with all the infantry plus the light armor. Pack 14 in trouble, Morton trouble as well there. Anything force and healing, all that jazz. Gonna spank in the field gun. Pack white, this is a huge problem. They need to counter and even keep it out of the Soviet's hand. Field gun is got flanked in the field gun. Get rid of that at least. That could also have a bunch. There you go. Getting flanked on neck to cover. The field crew dies quickly. There you go, be gut. Assault and hold, two thumbs up here to Zodiac. Great use of the ability to serve the pack 40. Almost gets the film 40 to grab that. Huge. No, failed to pursue here. That's a big tactical error there, I think, by Zodiac. He just moved up, they kept pace and cleared out the field gun there. Huge missed opportunity there, I think. Panther on the flank here on the console court, retreating bunk grenade as well there. And, oh, I think it actually shot there a bit long. He might have gotten the wipe there, but close there. So many close ones there for Zodiac. And again, that one, you know, a bit more, yeah. But that one I definitely feel like was a missed opportunity to clear out the field gun. In which case, again, he would have had two anti-tank guns because some up would not be able to think to cover the field gun. And that would have been huge here for Zodiac since, again, he denied the opponent to snowball the field guns. He'd get two himself. And, of course, just, you know, would be in a much stronger position than that. So, yeah, that's a bit awkward there, a bit awkward. Probably not a game ending, but it's the sort of thing that can you know, still make a significant, I think, uh, difference as the match goes on. Field gun being hauled back. But still, good use of the assault and hope, but again, I feel like there's an opportunity to slip through his hands there for whatever reasons. MG4 sitting up there. Panther 4 almost down there for Zodiac. And grabs the pack 40. Panther was caught there with 9 kills, 32. Could consider support package. So that increases action against whatever infantry gets targeted by it, which is pretty handy. And there you go, Panzer Kampfhagen here, adding the Pinamont machine and upgrade. Two thumbs up, there's a Zodiac. Teasing Rush and Eastwoods here. We do also have tech here for Soma player. 
Very good, very good. And we would like to see the T-Fed file on that one. That would probably require some stooks here. Could also just try and swarm with Panzer Falls, but with Fiddlins backing up, that's going to be a bit trickier there, I think. We shall see, though. Mine's being laid down there. Mortar, half eight of it. One pencil sitting out. Field and Nevin bonding the machine gun there. Panther folding back, the machine gun almost done. Needs to do a bit work, a better work with this field. There we go again, the assault mode. Two thumbs up. It's such an overlooked ability by so many moment players when they go for the dark night. You just focus on like spamming veterans and views and that's it and again they know look at great abilities like assault and hold which is just amazing in fact some cases i argue tank a well utilized assault and hold is much better than a fact mutation bomb because a it lasts longer and to give more damage and again just to do because we've got maneuver plus to see but that's not to say fact mutation bomb is bad but again assault and hold when used properly i think can be in some cases much more devastating because the opponent can't just for example also dodge out of its way as easily just going back to the Western Q, Pond kind of me up to hits here from the field gun. I think a push with infantry of right now will be very strong here by him, but the infantry is holding a bit back there for Zodiac. And there you go, wears out. Two foot on the way there. Pack 40 gets hit on the T's in the light tank, more firing down there, direct hit by the mortar. Sick of the art, what he does! I think that was a mortar round. A mortar round? Yeah! Tanks are pretty lightly armored on top, you wonder, where were No, I, I thought they were pretty tanky. No, even like the big ones can have issues with artillery. Oh, sick of my hurts, and I here thought we'd be safe in the tanks. Now the T for the on the way there. Panzer the guard squad, fine position to shoot the Panzer gonna do squad, and there you go. T for the 45 ready there for Soma Plep. More pioneers there for Zodiac. Very good investment there. Interrupt pack four. Could I actually try and flank the Chief and Pavin Panther faster and then catch another pack four between it and pack four and everything in Panther four? There's actually a chance here, maybe, but no. Doesn't go for it, but not at least. Another hit on the Panther four there by the T-35. Gun is moving in there. Getting caught by the machine gun in the base. Gun getting off rocking at the Kratzka squad there. Bring in the pack four and the panda four needs to be careful not to extend. Continue for another one. And again, I do feel like the shoe kit would be a great choice as well. Can get a lot of damage in the teeth for the farm. It also makes it hard for it just to escape. The T7 was flanking here. Catch the pack four in open spot. Panda was off here. Panda four shoots. He misses the T7. Engineers went forward. Pack four is getting blasted by the T7. He's still going to be in trouble here. Almost got the T7 with the pack four. It's about to go down here. It's about to go down. He also got the field running up here. Pack crew taught. Mortar for zombies moving up the gates, and that's a misclick here by Zodiac or something else went wrong. Pack for the Fort Ignite, going to stay here through the hit buildings. And he's moving in. Pack the Fort is narrowly escaping here, but it's a pretty dazzling gate from Zodiac. Heavy losses in the middle of the open fields here. Got the T7 with the Panda Fast here. Misclick by Soma, perhaps. The Pack 40 is now in the hands of Soma. And that's going to be a huge problem there for Zodiac, since that's going to be a six man Pack 40, which is going to be a lot tougher to deal with. In fact, he even merges with it here, which of course the same man in Consequence Squad makes it a lot easier by this and doesn't have to worry about sacrificing the entire squad. So that's extra nasty there by Soma. That's going to be a problem there. And certainly now makes the knock ground that field gun look even more bit awkward there. Panther 1 dying it repairs. Troops need reinforcement healing. Definitely not any great gauge from there for Surtic, and that one really just gives initiative to the Red Army here. Could lay down some flare mines if he wanted to. Panther 4, of course, needs priority repairs. Schnell. Chief of Father also need a priority repairs here. Don't need sending out. Thank you that mighty Panzer Kampfwagen fear. What do you need? Panzer's moving ahead here, halfway to the east level, mortar there with one kill, but close to Veteran need two. Guessing she's gonna keep going for more Panzer Force. Guards from holding up there, Panzer from Fort's gonna find away there, east level, 20 kills. Mortar there also ready, could try and fire some bombardments here, I think that'd be pretty good. Rife grenade here could be pretty decent. Moving up the counter port there to bang grenade and the Gabadi Ladnung. Quick retreat there. T for filming up there. Mortifying rain down. No. 
Oh, he is pounding. Very good. Two thumbs up. Heck, getting hit in the T-35. Comes to the retreating. Nice hit there, bit two gains. Pack forward in a bit of trouble. Yeah, this is gonna be a big problem there for Zodiac. And it's gonna think quite a good push for the Sultan Holden and using his infinite quick to the map before they can do much threat there to his armor, because otherwise those could become a significant headache. But again, close to the Panda 4, and there you go. Number two that is, and there we go, he's going for it. Very good there for Zodiac and Deutschland. Building a shattered. And they got a maximum way there for Soma, planning some suppressive firepower here versus Zodiac. Very good. They got 430 numbers, 1542. That's it. Soma, but it's really got good map to right now here versus Zodiac, who's, I think, starting to perhaps come just a bit too passive here versus Soma, which always is dangerous. Got smoke down the center, though, to go and grab it. Except there's no troops within the vicinity to take advantage of this, so. I mean, it's great he's using smoke, but, you know, sometimes you do need to train and, like, you know, timing it correctly. Right here, they'd actually kind of have to put him a bit more, but there you go. Finish running in. Garp's taking any damage out in the open. Tifa coming in here as well. And to tank can hold forward. Second pad forward ready here for Zodiac. Took in for some healing. We got 428 with the Fume 42. Another smoke screen this time, ready with infant moon, I guess. Tank on the eastern side. Could, of course, add a pin map machine to it. We get to lay down sandbags and they come up as a pony smoke. Two thumbs up. I love that kind of cheek. If your opponents get the smoke, might as well lay down some sandbags. Take advantage of the electric. Suddenly appear out of nowhere with sandbags. That is beautiful there. And Sony, again, makes it a bit awkward that Sony's not fast enough to take advantage of the smoke himself. So now again, he suddenly finds like when the smoke lifts, suddenly there's a constant quarter heavy cover. It's like, you know, shite archers, that's not what's supposed to happen. Yeah, I think if you need to get this timing right next time, otherwise there may not be a time after that. Now the smoke screen. Moving up, what's up with the gun? You see machine can try and a bit further to assist. Pentacles holding back here. Anti tank is on the flank there on the west side. Here we got the news with the guard squad. These are cheapest gonna be is. They're not gonna last long here versus Storm Up with infantry in there. Go punch the mission forwards. Anti tank's being holed backwards. Could I actually the pen force in the center? I think in control here at least briefly. Also, some of the mortars in the pack 40 bit. Tank forming in push back the troops on the east side. We got from the 8 with the 342. Storm Up like I can do. Oh! Mine went off from the Tifa for damaging the engine! There's actually not good opportunity to push yet there. Ah, oh, the fans take too much damage. He's got enough things to clear the anti-tank gun. But still, the T-35 is sort of isolating himself from the anti-tank gun. So maybe, just maybe, when the end there, Zodiac, I think, ends up being a bit too sluggish, a bit too slow to take advantage. He's just constantly throwing down smoke there. Just constantly sort of throwing it out there. Katusha rocket launch here for Soma. Interesting timing there. Could have figured another T-35 before that, but... I think it's going to work out. So that's despite having an arm advantage and then going for a third one here, it's not like he's utilizing it particularly well here, but Storm Up currently, so it's not like he can currently being threatened heavily by it, but it could backfire on him though if some Sodex on this to get like aggressive with three Panther Force, at which point having one T for farm just a pair of anti tank guns could possibly backfire on him if Zodiac can coordinate a good assault. That of course is gonna be the big magical question. Can he do that? Smoke screen again, field bombarding here, Panther 4 being fixed up. Engaging the Grenadiers with his 85 mm gun and his crack and hull machine guns. Got 13 kills on that one. More smoke from that mortar. So much more smoke. Finding some truth in tech to grab the pump while there's a smoke from down going from 40. T15 from the pack pump. Get the just right there. Click out the pack from there. Go Salt and Hope. We've got a big push. You need support in the center. Modifier running down. Need some damn third. Can't talk to here. Rough grenade off as well. And there you go. Heavy losses here for Salt and men getting killed in droves. Moving up here, and of course, Assault and Hope also allowed to get points much, much faster. Except some benefits there. Moving on the west side. Pan forming in. You could clear the field gun here. Death mistake here for Salt and Leaving the entertainer, I said, but no, Zodiac does not push front and try and take it out here. At least for the tank. Missed opportunity, I think, here again. 
Yeah, obviously the mirror's good, and the stuff you good. Yeah, going for Stu here. Nope, goes for third Panda Four. Wing up here. Good push across the front now here though. Can can he fully exploit it though? That's so far again is the big question here. In for taking head from the C for the first five, they need to fall back. Need to fix up this Panda Force plus he lost an extra pony is what he went for. Mine goes off there, wiping out the pans gonna be a squad. Ugh, that is looking less great. They feel the other pen bombing in there. Machine getting suppressed here. Field gonna be a tight spot itself. More to find way there. Close to the ace level. West side here, we got Gunnies being pushed back with Conscript in the guard squad. Got Gunnies flanking up behind the field. Gun almost got it. Right with the T for Bell Bridge. Abraham gaining Betsy to the Gunnies have to retreat then. Even then, the T for Farm may just wipe them with a bit of bad luck there for Zodiac. West side here, Gunnies flying off. Oh, didn't fire off right grenade after all. Just sounded like it. Third Panda 4 almost done, but he needs more pine. He's fixed up his arm. He needs to replace his lost pans. Gonna do his as well. Guards coming up, then he's been merging counters with it. Two thumbs up. Should use the ability there. Mortar still back to the east level. Panda Falls in dying unit repairs. We got 378 versus 327. West side here, Guards coming up here. T for the father moving in. We need to cover the Panda 4 here. Pack 40 gets a good hit. They're packing up. They're getting attacked by Crumb from South Side. And to tank lead off. That's it. Getting poked down two pentacles. A bit dangerous for the health. And there you go. Already lost three men. Low on health. Kuna's getting wiped out. This is not the choices there. Keep them in the center. Kuna from the mortar here, which is now ace level. We should treat that. But he is clearly preoccupied with what's going on in the West team. It's going to be too I think. Now he retreats it. But it's too late. And the mortar crew dies. Great kill there, in fact he's going to destroy it, I think, deny Sodiac his artillery piece. And remove one annoyance there from his backside. So yeah, right now Sodiac is in a pretty uncomfortable position there. He's lost his anti-tank and he's lost his mortar. He's down one Pioneer squad, so he can't repel his armor very fast. And he's even lost the Panther as well. Right now, some of us, I think, is in a very strong position. He's just where to just go for more tanks, I think they could probably close this up fairly fast. Tifa first shoots and misses. Back edge with causing healing for Zodiac and the German army. Certainly some significant issues there with resources. Some significant issues there. Tifa on the west side, he back with conscripts. Panther forming in there. On health though. Shot bounce. That's fairly lucky there. Panther Florida is in trouble. Need to get the other supporting in once in there if he can and get the probably does some money. Get the team in front, another hit there. Third pen falling in there, shot bounce, that's incredibly lucky there for Zodiac, incredibly lucky. And he does what off there, go packs and field gun arrives here, taking out the other Panther Falls while he may have saved his veteran two Panther Four. He lost another one. Going for another pack. Hard pushing on the card point by Storm Up. Zodiac is in a really awkward spot here. Machine getting flanked there. Need to fix up all those Panzer Fours. Sandbags down there. There's gonna be some time before his Panzer Fours can move because he's still got one Pioneer Squad to do him, like equipped with the Minesweepers and Veteran Squad leaders. Even with that increase in repair speed, it's still gonna take some time to fix up. We got another sort and hold push here though by Zodiac. Two thumbs up. Gospel is dug in with Sandbag, got a massive chromatic plus the entertainers making such an attack here. Oh, pretty painful for Zodiac. Probably should have looked to flank another maneuver opponent there, but alas did not. Of course he wasn't expecting Pedro to be ready, and there you go, Katrusha firing into the base as well. They're looking to get some wipes here on Zodiac. Further increases misery there. Rocket screen through there, landing in the base, causing until cash for these in havoc. So far not heavy. Oh, all of the medics I think. Oh! Most of the mechs get killed, but all of them packed was getting hit there as well, just as it finally arrives to the base. Boom, out of commission. Now, of course, he has to use the kind of self-healing ability, since all the medics are more or less, I think, dead. Rough here for Zodiac, pushing eastwards. Some of them must just grab most of the map, and at this point it won't, because they have, like, all of them, more or less, all the units they can get, could just keep churning up T-35s and then just crash Zodiac beneath the tide of socialist armor. And even they could just go for T-34-76, which would still be fairly good. Considering everything also only has... Wow, sorry about that. Sentence didn't quite go the way I wanted in my head, so fun on that one. I do apologize. T-34 coming in. Good here on the MD-42 there. 
tearing through the group with a high precision. Other Panther have been fixed up. Zodiac is still strapped for resources. Except fuel, but without man part, the fuel does nothing. Holy smokes, that's a great hit. Actually, gotta wipe them one and sew them up as conscious swords. Obliterates the end of the single hit, but that opens up for another T for the 45. So the question is. Did Zodiac really gain that much from it? Meanwhile, the attack has been so slow that Zodiac's been able, or someone's been able to like redirect a lot, good deal of the force to defend against this. Shorty here initiative has been lost for Zodiac. Unfortunately, family of course, break for Soma, playing the Red Army. He's pushing ahead. Pentafall, they're good to go. Bomb's getting a counter board here. North as well, but looks like he's looking for some deep flank. Could you strike the right to the attack here of Zodiac and the German army? I go up the T-35. Second one almost done there for Sommerpler. There we go. He could go for T-36 to back it all up. He wanted to, I think. Panther for lining up for some sort of deep flank maneuver, but where that will lead, who knows? 224 versus 313. Hand from the guard squad, guards been advancing up here. West side got the hand coming in, ground motion point there. Guard squad routed. T for Thalamu here for him. T for Thalamu away there for Soma, the Panther 4 there, 22 kills, 22 getting flanked here. And there you go, Panther engaging for the front. Only one shot went through the other's mess by the looks of it. Got the quick bridge, quick maneuver to get out of there. East side Eagle is hunting out. Barely any map control in the RC and not looking great. That said, right now though, Soma is putting all of the entertainers in the center with nothing to screen them. So if they were to realize they could rush them down and deal with them. But again, Zodiac here seems hesitant. Not gonna blame him for that. The problem is right now, hesitant play is not gonna lead to a victory like he needs to like come up with some sort of great aggression maneuver that throws off his Soviet opponent spectacularly. Got another shoot in the way that at least another attempt to do. We'll have to see if he actually sticks to it this time around. Hitches are moving up. 11 kills. Half eight to it's only two. Oh dear, that was a mistake there. Got the Katusha there. Did not expect that one. Good kill there for Zodiac. Good kill. Pen for the 11 kill. Bring rest of the country before the end of retreating. We got 160 versus 13. Now the Katusha on the way there for Soma. Blip. Two bombers done. Great hit from the Panda Forms taking out there. Pack 40 moving up, but is exposed itself to get wiped over the Sodin infantry. Two bombers done. Panda Forms there to two half health. Chief Husband 40, pack down. That's a big problem. We got the Stuke though. Final round here for Zodiac for Germany. Deutschland. Sadly, may not be enough now here against Zodiac. But not Soma. Zodiac, but Soma. Great nonsense there for me. Going to be a single player in there, goes Sodex Renders, a loss here for the German army, a victory for the Red Army. A brutal fight here on crossroads with a lot of bound forth action. And then I feel like Sodex just at times, you know, when he should have pushed to like get some kills and then the Soma play held back, which definitely proved to be an advantage. Plus losing that pack 40 was a huge mistake there for Sodex. Definitely a big win there for Soma. They've really done a lot of snowball the match there. I think they also should consider more salt infantry. And some stoops. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, channel, family, but don't channel these. And also consider, you know, pledging on Patreon or donating. This is Impel Tears. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for a massive episode. Bye.